ready to go for our first, and they're off. The four juveniles jumped away for the British European Breeders Fund novice stakes. The favourite Cuban slide just took a step to the right out of stall one, just chased along as well, the grey early on. Good speed from the horses run before. Pumpkin pie, white sleeve jacket. Also, Zachary knows his job. He's up there as well in the mauve and black colours. These two race on by a few lengths to the favourite chased along Cuban slide furiously in third place and uh, making dreams. The filly is the back marker of the four as they head already towards halfway. Zachary and pumpkin pie, these two are stepping on. Cuban slide playing catch up in third place and then comes making dreams as they head down now for the final quarter mile. Zachary has brushed aside pumpkin pie and leads. Cuban Sly back in behind them, making dreams, is struggling to go with them as they head down for the final furlong. Cuban Slide is making ground towards the far side to try and challenge Zachary and now Cuban Slide all of a sudden has swept them aside in the final furlong and he's bounding away. This grey colt is going to make a most pleasing debut after a slow start. Cuban Slide, he could be smart, wins for Carl Burke and Sam James. He wins easily. Making dreams ran on well to be second. Zachary got tired, finished third, and Pumpkin Pie last of four. I'm back here at Mossoborough where I'm joined by Sam James after he wins the first race. Sam on a, a newcomer, Cuban Slay. I thought it was a very good debut performance. A little bit sluggish at the start, but the others broke so quick. Yeah, obviously the, the, the other horse uh, that Andrew Monin had ridden had, had a run. Um, I mean, John, uh, Mark Johnson's horse knew his job and he was away quick. My lad was just just a little bit green, really, more than anything. Just a little bit green to sort of get into stride. He was a bit of a playboy on the way to post. He, he had a little bit of a buck and, and stuff like that. So, you know, he's, he's obviously got ability there. He's just He was just a bit unsure of what I wanted him to do for the first two furlongs, you know. Yeah, I'm sure riding him at home, you wouldn't have expected that sort of performance today, though, would you? No, not really. Like I, I, He actually, I was just saying to the lads when he came in, he, he sort of ran, and probably Kyle would agree with me, he, he, he ran sort of opposite to the way I thought he would. I thought he would jump and, and maybe be, if anything, a little bit keen because he, he sort of showed us that at home, he's got loads of speed. But today he sort of ran a little bit like the opposite way. But um, yeah, look, it was, it was a nice performance and you know a stepping stone onto something hopefully better and hopefully he can sharpen up now for that and uh, know a lot more the next day. There's evidence on the damn side that, that he should stay further, but when you're winning like that over five, why, why change things? Yeah, exactly. Obviously, Carl will know more than, more than I will. Um, the way he's ran and you know it's a sharp five here so he's had to be fairly fast you know so, so to even just keep up with them so yeah look, he might want six in time but uh, at the minute I, I presume he'll probably just stick to five and see what happens yeah. before I chuck a couple of your rides still to come at you what's the, what's the ground like out there I thought it was on the good side it, you know he may even be a little bit quicker it was, it was I thought it was lovely ground obviously you're going to say that when you ride the winner but it, it felt it felt nice ground to me you're, uh, you're togged up to go out to ride Mr. Jetman in now next, one of one of two coming up for, for Grant Tour. You're on bicep later as well. Yeah, uh, Mr. Jetman, you know, we sort of fancied in the last day a little bit. Catrick, again, he was a little bit green having his first run in a handicap. Um, so hopefully he's a lot sharper for today. I think I think if he comes forward for that run and puts his put, best foot forward, I think he'll go close. And forget me not blue for, for Calvert later on. Yeah, obviously she's favourite as well. You know, she, she's uh, maybe been a little bit unlucky not to get her head in front, not not through her fault or anything like that. Just kept bumping into one or two, and yeah, hopefully she can uh, jump and travel away, and uh, hopefully she can do the job today. Well done in the first couple of later. Thank you. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel now to watch more great races like this.